Pakistan has held a state funeral for the man regarded as the father of its nuclear program, Abdul Qadir Khan. The man regarded as the father of Pakistan's nuclear program, Abdul Qadir Khan, has died at the age of 85. The atomic scientist was hailed by many Pakistanis as a national hero for making his country the first Islamic nuclear power back in 1998, but widely condemned elsewhere. He was given a state funeral. Shumaila Jafri's report from Islamabad starts with flashing images. Abdul Qadir Khan, the father of Pakistan's nuclear program, was given a heroic farewell. He was laid to rest with full state honor in capital Islamabad. Wrapped in a Pakistani flag, his coffin was carried by a contingent of the Pakistan military. Despite heavy rain, his funeral prayers were attended by cabinet ministers, high-ranking civil and military officials, and a large number of people. The great man loyal to Pakistan has died. He is the only Pakistani to be honoured twice with the highest civilian award. Abdul Qadir Khan is revered as a national hero for giving the Islamic world its only nuclear bomb. But his legacy was also marred by allegations of smuggling the technology to countries like Iran, North Korea and Libya. He was put under house arrest in 2004 after he confessed on the state television of selling nuclear secrets. I take full responsibility for my actions and seek your pardon. International condemnation did nothing to dent his popularity among the masses. Today, the whole nation is saddened. He was loyal to the country and made Pakistan a nuclear power. It is regrettable how he was treated. Dr. Abdul Qadir was widely respected in Pakistan for his contribution to the country's security, especially for bringing Pakistan at par with arch rival India in nuclear technology. His house arrest was ended in February 2009 but his movements were strictly guarded till his death. Shumaila Jafri, BBC News, Islamabad.